Hey guys and gals, how we doing today? Look here, I wanted to take a second for everybody that's new to Live Scoop, and I wanted to learn you something. This is my way of talking, y'all. Look, a lot of people get confused about Live Scoop, about Eddie King. I get a, all the time. I get questions, you know, asked. Man, I can't see my lure. What am I doing wrong? Let me, you know, how's your settings? Let me, sh I'm about to show y'all the best way to get your live scope to learn where it's pointed at, what you're looking at, how to find your lure, all that good stuff, guys and gals. Look, okay. First off, there's our unit, guys and gals. <clears throat> all right. Now, find you something. Go to a lake, go to a pond, go wherever you want to go. Find you something that you can look at this out of this sticking out of the water and you know goes down below the water, right? Okay, guys and gals, this is very important. <clears throat> this is this is a way that you can find out what you're looking at, where you're looking at, and get your orientation correct, guys and gals. So bear with me. I'm doing this on a phone, y'all. That's the best way I know to do it. That way y'all can hear me. <clears throat> it's a little windy. All right, and I don't want to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. All right, I want everybody to be able to, to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so we can see that pole right there oh look at there there's fish hey look we can see that pole right there that is what we're looking at okay now a live scope you cannot see very far okay you're talking about a few degrees 20 degrees or so all right that is not very much all right Get to your contractor and look at tw well, how much 20 degrees is. Okay, that's your field of view. Okay, so if I turn my live scope a little bit, you can see it goes away, right? Okay, it went away. All right, man, there is some fish on there. And some brush and some Christmas trees I sink about, I don't know, 12, 13 years ago. <laughs> Anyway, look at here. This is how we're going to find out how we're going to set up our pole. What I mean by pole, forgive me for this shaky video, y'all. <clears throat> okay, our handle. I got mine set up <clears throat> on the fishfindermouse.com pole. All right. You may have your setup different. I don't know. But you see the way the handle is pointing? All right. That's the exact way my live scope transducer is pointing, okay? It's just opposite, spun around. It is facing, but it's in line straight with that handle, okay? <clears throat> so we're looking straight at that pole, y'all, okay? So when I, <clears throat> when I turn that handle, okay, it's looking straight at that, at that telephone pole, right? Man, you can see how fast, literally, I'm turning that. Well, you can, I will show you how much I'm turning it, literally, that far. And it goes out of view. Okay, that, that is why a lot of people are having problems finding their lures, finding their jigs, finding their hooks, whatever they're looking for, okay? The, <clears throat> the field of view in forward i mean <clears throat> yeah in forward mode is not that big guys and i think that is a lot of the problems okay like i say i get asked every single day in my videos in the comments on the lake i have people stop me on the lake and ask you know hey man how do i find my lure you know I can't see what I'm looking at, you know. So anyway, look, I hope this is going to answer everybody's question, you know. 
All right, now there are several poles there, just so everybody knows. We got that pole. We got a two small telephone, you know, to cut off ones beside it. All right, same thing here. We got the big one, and then we got two more behind it. All right, they cut off. So I am going to chunk my lure and show y'all <clears throat> exactly. Now, this is where it's going to get shaky, y'all. This is where it's gonna get shaky because I gotta switch hands, but I think I can do it, y'all. I think that I can do it, okay? Give me just a second. I know that's, this is not the best way, you know, this is really not the best way to film it, but far as right now, that's all we got, and, that, and that's how we gonna have to do it, y'all. So, Bear with me. I'm actually using my daggum mouth to uh, to open <clears throat> my reel, y'all. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me get my pole back in view now. Okay. I apologize about that, y'all. Okay. Now. Trying to hold this so everybody can see it, y'all. You see my jigs? Look at my jig. You see them bouncing right there. Okay? You see my jigs bouncing right there. All right, now look at that pole. See, it kind of done got out of you. But, y'all, you get the idea. I'm, I apologize again about the way that I had to do it. Man, and I got six GoPros on this boot. But I couldn't figure out a way to do it by myself. Anyway, and I did have a proper mount. If I had my tripod, I could have did it. So I know it's kind of shaky, but hey, you did. You get the point of what I'm getting at. That is the best way. Find you something you can literally look at above the water. You know it goes below the water, right? If you do that, guys and gals, I promise you, you will get it. You will get it. You cannot mess up. You cannot mess up. Now, I'm going to try to do it one more time. That way everybody sees it, okay? You got to bear with me. I am reeling up as we speak, so... This is going to be the crappiest YouTube video to ever be made, y'all. But, hey, <clears throat> I've been asked, and I'm trying to help, y'all. That, that's all I can say about it. <clears throat> so, we're going to leave it at that. Okay? And like I say, <clears throat> something is going on with my spot lock, man. I just don't know. I don't know. I was hoping, you know what would have been nice? If I would have smacked one of them fish with these old jigs, that's that, That's what would have been nice, y'all. That would have been icing on a cake, right? Okay. Now, here we go, y'all. We are about, and it, I, we are about to. Oh, can't do it like that, y'all. Sorry. Y'all, this is kind of hard. I ain't gonna lie, but we gonna get it. There's no way of editing this. So I can't I can't go back and, and undo the stupidity that I just did, y'all. I cannot do it. But anyway. Hey look, at least y'all getting to see the fish, you know? At least you're not just looking at nothing. I mean at least you are getting to see fish swim around there, right? Okay, guys and gals, we are going to try it one more time. We are going to try it one more time, guys and gals. Okay, you see my jigs falling right there. All right, they're falling right beside that pole. There's a pole. 
you see them fall. And actually, they're finna fall right on top of some fish. So you see me jigging them? Oh, the fish run away. Look at that. You did get to see something. Anyway, now it's kind of going out of view. See that? Anyway, that's kind of neat. You did get to see, if you watch toward the end, you did get to see some fish, you know. But anyway, hey, the fish didn't want them jigs. But look, guys, I'm telling you, if you will follow this video, find you something above water that you know goes below the water, and I promise you, you will get it, guys and gals. Thanks so much for bearing with me during this fiasco of a video, guys. I apologize, but look, hopefully it helps y'all out. God bless each and every one of y'all, and we will see y'all next time.